how did you go? Well, I'm going to show you my solution at the moment. You can use mine as a base for your solution or you can create your own at any given point. This is how the CD will work. You can join the CD at any point and start from the worked solution from the previous chapter. Or you can create your own solution as you go along. It's up to you. I've called this database.c and I've stored it in the course project folder inside chapter 4. Let's have a look at it. It's all pretty straightforward. There's only one tricky area and I'll show that to you when we get there. We need a string for the title, we need a string for the artist, an integer for the tracks, I've decided to use a char to read in the variable that is going to be the album or single. We'll get to that and you'll see why in a moment. But that's not where I'm going to finally store it. I'm going to finally store it as a Boolean variable called album. In other words, is the CD an album? In other words, if album is equal to 1, then it's an album. If album is equal to 0, then it's a single. You'll see how that works in a moment. And finally, the price is going to be a float. That's pretty straightforward. Okay, nice friendly welcome message. Please enter the details of the CD. That's on a line by itself. Doesn't ask them for anything. But the next line says, please read in the title. Then we read scanf. Notice that we're using the complicated string reading in bit. We're not using percent %s because we want to be able to have spaces in the title name. Same for the artist. Don't forget we're going to do an f flush now after or before every scanf. Number of tracks. Don't forget the ampersand right here. An album or a single? Okay, this is the tricky bit. Simple message, but I want you to take a look at it. I want the user to type in the letter A for an album or S for a single in lower case. And then I'm going to read a single character from the keyboard and store it in a variable called type. Okay, fair enough. And then, and here's the tricky part, I check whether they typed in an A or not. If they typed in an A, then this expression, the highlighted expression on your screen, will be equal to 1. So in other words, album will be set to 1. And if they typed in anything but an A, then album will be set to 0 because that expression will evaluate to false. Okay, I hope that's clear. There's a little side effect here, and I've commented that. If they didn't enter an A or an S, it assumes an S. In other words, the only thing that it's actually checking for is an A. It's not actually checking to see if they didn't type an S because I don't know what to do if they didn't type an A or an S. If they typed a P, for example, what am I going to do? Keep asking for it? Well, we could. We're not up to loops yet, so you don't know how to do that yet. For the moment, all we're going to do is assume that if they typed an A, it's an album. If they typed anything else, it's a single. OK, let's move on. The price is very straightforward. You'll notice I've shown them an example of what the price could be. $4.65, £4.65, or four point six five yen or something, but I haven't actually shown them that they should type a dollar sign in. They're just going to be typing the number itself. Read that in. Print it out. C D details you entered are little line across the screen. Notice that you can actually have carriage returns at the beginning of lines. All that does is it inserts a blank line. Okay, now you know. Title, artist, number of tracks. Now a bit of clever code. If it's an album, print album. If it's single, print single. This is the clever bit of code. If album, that is perfectly legitimate, readable, and understandable C code. Album is a Boolean. It will be set to 1 or 0. We know that because we set it up higher. So all we have to do here is say, if it's an album, then print album. It would be good if I spelt it right. No, oh, I did spell it right. OK. And finally print out the price to two decimal places. So it's two decimal places in the world of finance. OK, here's my F flush and get char at the end, but I'm just going to tell them that they need to press enter rather than sit there doing nothing. OK, and that's the program. Let's see what it looks like when it runs. Compile. OK. Run. Please enter the details of the CD. Title. Uh, love over gold, dire uh, straits, number of tracks, five. It's an A for an album. Retail price, let's call it uh, 13.50. The CD details you entered are love over gold, dire uh, straits, 
number of tracks 5, album 1350. Press enter to exit the program. That looks like it's working. OK. We're going to use that as the basis for the next chapter's course project exercise, which you'll see in a very short moment.